Donna Brazil has vanished after sudden shock announcement of who killed Seth Rich and now it's bad. Former interim Democratic National Committee DNC head Donna Brazil has been on the warpath against her own party over the last week after her conscience caught up with her. After first confirming what we've expected about Hillary Clinton rigging the election in her favor to kick her competitor Bernie Sanders out of the running, Brazil has doubled down on releasing what she knows, fully realizing the ramifications of exposing the Clintons and now one of the biggest mysteries about who killed Seth Rich. Brazil did what she felt she had to do in order to get the truth out and has now vanished. Democrats don't like the truth and have done everything they can in the last few days to discredit her despite being one of their own. In the midst of uh, major social media CEOs going before Congress in an investigation about supposed Russian involvement in swinging the election with ads they paid for on social media, Brazil dropped a bomb about who really rigged the election, confirming what Hillary did that was the most detrimental and illegal to the results of the 2016 presidential election. The left has not only remained focused on these Russian ads, but now is intentionally trying to bury Brazil and the truth she brings, namely her story she just released on who killed Seth Rich. Daily Caller reports former interim Democratic National Committee DNC head Donna Brazil worried Seth Rich was either killed for being white or by the Russians from her book hacks. That's a joke. Not the Russians. They could care less. And this is not because he was white. I felt some responsibility for Seth Rich's death. I didn't bring him into the DNC, but I helped him there working on voting rights. With all I knew about uh, now about the Russian hacking, uh, I could not help but wonder if they played some part in the unsolved murder. Give me a break. Besides that, racial tensions were high that summer, and I worried that he was murdered for being white or on the wrong side of town. That's all false. My friend Elaine expressed her doubts about that, and I heard her. The FBI said that they did not see any Russian fingerprints there. You know, I mean, give me a break. Brazil repeatedly returns to the subject of being haunted by Rich's murder, even though other Democrats have pounced on anyone who suggested that the murder was anything other than a robbery gone wrong. The DNC data staffer was killed days before WikiLeaks began publishing its emails and his valuables were not taken. So if she was afraid that it was uh, uh, racial because he was white, why was she closing the blind? She's black. If it was the Russians, why does she have to be afraid of the Russians? What did she do to the Russians? You get what I'm saying? So everything she says is put in the trash because of that. Also in her book, after making these statements about what really happened to Richie, pointed out how she feared for her own life, and rightfully so. For what reason? The Russians are going to get you? Or the, or, or the, the uh, a racial thing because you're white? None of the above. Since exposing these details, she said uh, dis uh, she disappeared into her house to hide from snipers and other covert killers. <laughs> the other covert killers is what she should be afraid of. On Saturday, Matt Drudge on the Drudge Report tweeted, Brazil writes she was haunted by the murder of DNC Seth Rich and feared for her own life, shutting the blind so snipers could not see her. This is uh, significant for one reason in particular, as pointed out by The Blaze, right-wing sites reported for months on Rich's murder, all while the mainstream media accused them of peddling conspiracy theories, right? That's a good one. But if Brazil wrote about it in her book, then it gives even more credence to the theory. Yeah, but she's trying to sway it off, the real perpetrators. 
with Democrats quick to pass off what happened to Rich when he was suddenly killed after exposing what he knew, it's clear that they have something to hide, which obviously isn't good. There's too much evidence pointing to more than a robbery gone wrong, and now Brazil has solid reason to fear for her own fate after all she's releasing. Now the mainstream media hacks CNN are desperately trying to discredit her and her claims, and the reason can only be to protect their own party. CNN directed its employers to undermine and discredit Donna Brazil after her new book confirmed that the DNC worked with the Clinton campaign to rig the primary against Bernie Sanders. Infowars reported after the revelations of this sick tactic came to the surface on Tucker Carlson's Fox News show Monday night. According to highly informed sources, we spoke to highly informed top management at CNN, directed its employees to undermine Brazil's credibility, Carlson said. Anchors and producers were vocally offended by her attacks on their friends, the Clintons. If you've been watching that channel, you may have noticed CNN anchors suggesting that Brazil cannot be trusted precisely because she took part in efforts to break the primaries for Clinton, he explained. According to Paul Joseph Watson for InfoWars, Carlson then played clips from CNN showing anchors going off the uh, same talking points, calling Brazil a liar. A Glenn Greenwald article also highlights how other journalists and networks have been spreading fake news designed to exonerate Hillary Clinton's behavior, including the myth that the DNC-Hillary deal only applied to the general election. The media loves a scandal, but they can't seem to downplay this one fast enough, Carlson said, along with providing proof of his assertion by playing a clip from Brazil's recent appearance on ABC's this week when she defended herself against her detractors by saying they, can, uh, they can't shut her up, but they can go to hell. Brazil has a target on her back, and she's a brave woman to forge ahead with the facts, knowing that she could very well be destroyed for it, or worse. One win is that she is likely to sell 10,000 times more books as Hillary Clinton just did since hers is packed with facts. What happened to Rich could not have been a botched robbery since she wouldn't be haunted by that. She knows, and the truth has a strange way of revealing itself. Yeah, but she's detracting from it. Yes, I do believe she's not so credible. Yes, but again, um, she better be very careful as to what she's coming out and saying, which she uh, is actually uh, going against the DNC big time at this point. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.